an hour ago, these hands were spotless, and they'd been spotless for two weeks when I'd been on vacation, but now I'm back home, and I've already been fixing pens, and so now it looks like this. But you know that it's me. You know it's me and not a um, an imposter. So I got a bunch of pens from eBay over the course of my visit away from here. So I, it was Christmas in in July yesterday, which is the opposite of it's June in January because I'm in love. It was it was Christmas in July because I was able to open up all sorts of little presents. And what came to mind was how much fun, how much better than sex writing with pens you've never written with before is. And it's true. All you have to do is buy a bunch of pens on eBay and get them home and write with them and think about the last time you had sex and you'll say, gee, this is a lot better than that. Well, for me anyway. So, I've already repaired, as you can tell by my hands, I've already repaired some of the pens that I bought. But let me just go through these pens to show you how much better they are than sex. Uh, this one is not so much better than sex, but it looks pretty, and I might be able to put a nice nib in here, maybe make it a Franken pen. Uh, it is a steel nib, which I knew would not be great. It's okay, but it's not great. And this came with another pen that had a gold nib, which I've already, the pen was completely screwed up, but the nib is a Waterman number two size nib, so that's, will go in another pen somewhere. So this is one. So is this better than sex? You decide. Okay, another one. This pen, this is a Waterman uh, pen. Oh, my cat wants to join me now because he hears me talking. Orca. Um, this is the Waterman Accountant nib, which is quite lovely. I, I have a penchant for those. It's not as fine as I think it should be, but I will be able to fix this. I think I think the tines are just a little bit spread out apart from each other, and I think I can repair that by tweaking it a bit. I think this nib, well, I know this nib came in a more recent pen than the holder that it was in, but it's fine. Um, this is sort of a weird pen because it, it has a band with engraving on it, but the engraving isn't in the center. It's sort of way screwed up, so it's a little weird. But it's a perfectly usable pen. I may put a older nib that belongs in it in it and it'll be more correct. Okay, then I got this set, Schaefer set, and it has a sort of a typical Schaefer feather touch nib, meaning it's relatively firm, but it has a little tiny bit of life to it when you press down it. Um, is this better than sex? It's better than some sex. Um, it needs a pressure bar. The pressure bar that was in it is not functioning. So, and I think I can make the pencil work right now. It's clogged. So that's okay. Better than sex? Yes. This one had a clip that I was very badly bent and I tried to bend it back and I got this far so it looks sort of like a early humpback clip which it isn't... oh, this is interesting. Um, I didn't see this until the light hit, hit it just so, but Dr. H.L. Addison is here but he also had his name printed on the cap which I think is nice. 
So he knew that this cap belonged to this pen. Um, this has been shaved down at some point, uh, though I don't quite know why. The threads look like they're okay. So anyway, it's is this better than sex? Yeah, better than sex. Now the, the better than sex is the enjoyment of trying out pen nibs that you've never tried before. Once you try them out, you might realize, okay, this isn't all that great, but that's what sex is like. Isn't it, folks? In your mind and in your anticipation, it's always better than it is in reality. Oh, there's also a chip right there, so on his cap, but I can maybe file that down to make it nicely even. Um, it's a typical Schaefer nib, firm, but it's... <laughs> I'll show you what my cat is trying to do. He's trying to fit five pounds of... ten pounds of shit in a five pound bag. He's... he's found himself a box to get inside of, and the box is a little tiny bit too small for him. Typical Schaefer nib. Okay, the nicest nib that I got was this one. Um, I also did get another pen too. Oh, is this going to come apart? Yes. It was missing this bit right there, that gold ring, clutch ring, which holds the cap tightly. And But I took it from another pen, so now it's complete. It has a nice moppy sort of waterman nib, loud waterman nib. I thought in my in the pictures looking at this on eBay, I thought the nib would be a little tighter, a little f finer. Um, but again, that's sort of wishful thinking. Let me just see if I can tweak it just slightly. This nib does have a slight suggestion that it may have been bent upward and straightened by someone other than me. Oh, did I fix it or screw it up? I think I made it... Well, I don't think it's changed it. It's just I need to put get ink that actually covers the nib. I'm using ink in a bottle. It's almost evaporated. No, it's just a big... it's sort of a moppy nib. It's very good for sketching, though. Uh, a little bit broader than I like my nibs to be when I draw, but sometimes I, I love nibs like this sometimes because I'm able to fill in huge areas of dark really quickly. I don't know if I'd want to do an entire drawing using this pen, but this might be a good pen to do the dark stuff. There we go. Finally, the last one I got was a pen and pen, a pen and pen set, desk pen. Now I have a cunning. I have many bases that have the same kind of marble, and I have a cunning plan. When Putin is overthrown and they put the Russian monarchy back into the government, I'm going to somehow sneak in and say that I'm the long-lost love child of Rasputin and the Dowager Empress or something, and claim my rightful place on the throne. And if not exactly the throne, I don't know if I would actually be able to do that, but I bet I'd be able to get a nice pal palace somewhere, and in that palace they will have a 
staircase made of this marble. And I'll say, yep, that's where I belong because I've got desk pens to match. Now, these two pens are almost identical, which are, which makes sense, I guess. I, when I saw the pictures on eBay, I thought this one was finer. And I thought that would make a nice uh, pair. You know, you have this pen for your writing and this one for your accounting or this one for your editing with the fine nib. But they're both almost identical, even though they look very different. Um, so these were probably meant for black ink and red ink. But, um, and what's nice about these particular pens Schaefer Triumph nibs. I will often, when I have a party at my house or I have an art opening or something, and I'm inviting people to write their name and addresses and, most importantly, their phone number, if they're cute, um, I'll hand them a pen and or I'll supply this pen and um, I don't, I'm not worried about them screwing it up by pressing down too hard or writing badly, you know, with, you know, a backhand or a left-handed writer or something where they're pushing the pen in a wrong direction, because these can take it. These pens can take it. So, when I have my housewarming party at the Winter Palace, um, my visitors, especially the cute ones, the cute Cossacks, because they'll bring them back to they'll, uh, write their phone numbers in my little black book. And then I'll I'll let them know. I'll let you know then whether writing with fountain pens is better than sex or not. How about that? I'll give you an update. Thanks for watching.